Hey guys, Flower here, and I am back with another episode of my Alphabet Legacy Challenge. Currently, Aliana is sleeping in the rain. Uh, she doesn't quite have a house yet. She is working on it. She does have quite a few things here, just not, you know, a whole lot. Uh, we're going to let her sleep a little bit longer, and then we're going to get her some food and maybe do some gardening, and then try to find something fun to do. Her sleep schedule is all off now because she has spent too many nights at the bar. Oh, look, Mom's here. Hello, Mom, standing up in the rain. I should get going now. Thanks for hanging out. All right, have a quick meal, have some cereal, and then you can use the pea bush and take a shower. Just stop complaining and eat your food, please. Oh, you know what we have to do? We have to pay our bills. We're going to have our water shut off and then they're going to eventually start repossessing our stuff. And we don't have a lot of stuff. I'm going to speed through here, get all her stats up so we can, uh, I guess go foraging because I don't know what else to do. Um, actually dumpster diving would actually get her a lot of money, but I said I wasn't going to dumpster dive in this, in this let's play. I might just have to do that, but no, I'm not going to. We'll use it. So we'll save it for a last resort. If we absolutely have to, then we will. But for now, we will not. Alright, so we have no water, so they cut it off right in the middle of our shower, so that's nice. Um, she is singing for her fun. Okay, so I think over in this area, uh, over by this park here, I do remember there being a bush right here. Harvest all. She can also get her hunger filled there. Now hopefully she still has the lucky... Is that like a trait now? She took a potion that was like a luck potion, and... That's not a trait. So it might have worn off already, but she did. She was getting a lot more stuff from when she did this. Now I know there is a frog over here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where that frog was. I sworn it was over in this area. Yeah, you go ahead and play on your phone. Oh, and we also have to look for presents because the dogs do leave presents laying about. So we might find a present somewhere. Man, not seeing anything anywhere. Maybe she should try fishing for a while. That might get her fun up. Okay, let's go and have her do some fishing. We'll fish with bait. Uh, you can use a tulip. Why not? Who knows what you'll catch with a tulip? Probably absolutely nothing. Oh, she caught a perch. There's a dig spot there. A secret random path up to this house. Another dig spot. Oh, she's getting kind of hungry, so we'll end her fishing. Let her do her digging. And then we'll send her back over to this area. She can harvest that. Harvest some daisies, if she can harvest them. Oh, she found a minnow. Nice. Alright, so let's head over here and we can cook up some food. Oh, we do not want sausage and peppers. That is way too much money. We'll just do a veggie burger. And you're cold. Why don't you put your cold winter gear on? We want spoiled food and change into your winter gear. And I guess she's going to have a horrible TV season premiere because she does not have a TV. Well, actually, no, she could probably go to the bar and watch TV there. Did you eat your food? You made it but not eat it? Go ahead and grab a serving. You made it. You can eat it. She's singing again. She really likes to sing. Oh, she's musical, that's why. Um, okay, so she needs to use the bladder too, so go ahead and use the bladder. I'm trying to find other things she can collect, but there's not a lot of stuff. Alright, I'm gonna have her head back home. Alright, you need to- oh, you can't take a shower because you haven't paid your rent. Okay, so go ahead and weed. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do it. Don't take my bed. Don't do it. Oh my god, we're getting our bed repossessed. We're getting our bed. Can we beg? Can we do something to stop her? We can't beg. More choices. Magic. Disperio. Don't do it. Oops. Funny introduction. Maybe if we just talk to her, she won't she won't do it. Alright, let's see what we got in our box. Can we sell things? Let's sell everything we have. Don't do it. Damn it, she's doing it. I mean darn it. Dag nabbit. We'll pay your bills, I swear. Look, I'm making money as we speak. Not a lot. Probably nowhere near enough. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, well, maybe we won't owe so much now? I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, see, sometimes the fossils, if you extract them, are good. Sometimes they're not. You can take a shower? I thought everything was repossessed. I mean, um, the, the water was shut off. Go ahead and sell. Alright. Wah! Wah! 
hate when it jerks like that. Show bills information. How do we pay bills? Can we pay bills? I've got enough to pay my bills now. You can't pay it through the phone anymore? I mean through the mailbox, I'll have to go through the phone. Show bills? Uh, yeah, won't let me pay it now. Yeah, there's garbage everywhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna have to buy another bed. Man, that sucked. I really thought I'd have a little more time before they start re repossessing things. Well, she can get a better bed, but I'm just gonna have her get the cot again for now because I also want to get her uh, one of these dumpster, no, one of these garbage cans so that she can empty her garbage can into this garbage because I don't like all this garbage piling up. Empty trash. Yeah, you're sad because your stuff was repossessed. Well, you got a new bed. All right, so we're gonna have her study the Tome of Emotional Stability, you know, after she does that. Because she does need to learn her magical skills too, so that next time the Rebo Man comes, she can like freeze them or something. And she needs to get her gardening skills up, but, oh, we can sell those too. Wow, that's a lot of money. All right, so what does she need now? She just needs fun. That's fine. We're just gonna ignore her fun and just study her magical tome. Just so we can sell it and then we can head back to the magic world. And we might want to call her, um, her new friend. He's an alien. Is it Mateo? Yeah, I think it's Mateo. Now we did like Jules, but he was materialistic. And Phoenix was mean, so it's like, I don't know. I want to try it with Mateo. I just want to see, you know, what happens. So we're going to get that spell learned so we can go ahead and sell that. I don't know why you are sleeping with a tome stuck in your hand. Uh, go ahead and get up and put an inventory and then go to sleep. You don't need to cry it out. It's no big deal. It's just stuff. Oh, you know what? You go ahead and drink that potion. And then you go to sleep. How's that? That'll make you not sad about losing your stuff. Haha, <laughs> see? Told ya. Alright, so you go ahead and sleep. And then we'll head over to the bar. Here you've been building it. Would you like to put it? Yes, Mom. I'd love to duel you at the magical dueling grounds. Why not? You're gonna kick my booty. You know, because we gotta get her, her magic skills up so she can teach her children and grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren to be wonderful spellcasters. Alright, so I think she'll just wait here for her mom to show up. Eh, while you're waiting, go ahead and... Oh wait, there she is. Nope, that's not her. Go ahead and dig for that. Anything else around here you can collect while you wait for your mom? What's that? That was her mom who invited her, right? Yeah, there she is. And we are actually going to... Duel or artifacts. No bassy Frazorpho! Dueling with my mom! Dueling with my mom! Uh, anybody gonna make a move? Oh, oh you're taking your three minutes. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, Aliana. No, you can't. Lame. That's what it sounds like they say when they do that. Alright, give her a big hug. Alright, and then we're gonna go back to here and grab some mac and cheese. And then you can grab another magical tome. Get her all queued up to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I just come to use your bathroom, Elfava. Sorry. That's the only reason I come down here. Four choices, magic. That's for magical training. Might as well get some training in while we're here too. Might get her social up. Sorry, I can't be bothered with magical training because I'm looking for tomes. There we go. Alright, so now that her magical training is done, she, well, Elphaba thinks it's still going on. I'm gonna take a quick nap here, and we're gonna call our alien friend. Yeah, I know TV premiere season was awful. We don't have a television, so there you go. Does she have any more magical tomes? What is this? Open it up. Alright, that's probably good enough. I just found a treasure box in there. Oh no, she opened it and got two. So she does still have that lucky whatever. Can you hurry up looking for that? She's OP. Just find a tome already. Alright, she's gonna have to go home and go to bed before she goes out now. Finally. Alright, 
So go ahead and head home now. And we'll get her to take a nap, or go to sleep at least, and then we will have her... I want to get to know the alien guy a bit more. Alright, so go ahead, can you go ahead and sleep? Love day! Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, love day, you need to a romantic spirit, get flowers, and go on a date. Go ahead and have a quick yogurt. Yay, level two, so now we can evolve. Alright, so we will get her bladder up. She doesn't really need to take a shower, so we're gonna not have her take a shower. But we are gonna have her change into... Alright, so then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to call up. Let's invite him to hang out at current lot. So we'll get him over here. We'll be right over. Alright, so... Unpleasant yeah. surroundings. Yeah, that's because of that bush. But there's no doorbell to ring, Mateo, so, um, get to know. Is he researching my plants? People you oh, shot no. wanna sack okay. the Tessa. Oh, so I'm Go ahead and give him a love day gift. Uh, give him a gonk. Yeah. Oh, hi, Dave. Oh. This is my potential bow. Like a... We're gonna cloud gaze in the oh, rain, sure. cause that's what we do. I'm gonna kind of give him a little flirt, just to see how it goes. And then can we... Oh, he did like it. Awesome. Alright, we need to... Always taking out the trash. I love when they do that. Alright, so go ahead and share the love day spirit. Oh, now he's taking out the trash again and then throwing it on the floor. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. That's because I interrupted him. Can we invite him out on a date or do we have to have more? Alright, more choices. Let's do another romance. Let's confess our attraction. You're like, look, I know you're an alien and I'm a spellcaster, but... I really like you. I think you're really cool. I love your outfit, your commander outfit. Ah, yeah. oh, why did he say no? That's not nice. Alright, and here's about new albums. Because they're both music the They're sitting in front of this nasty ass bush. Hold on, let's do this. This might be the problem. Because they're both super uncomfortable because of this. So we're gonna put it way over here. I don't know if that'll help or not, but... There. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Sing song. Uh, okay. It wasn't the best love day song, but what the heck are you doing? Let's just go to the Spice Festival. Travel to the Spice Festival. With Mateo. So like I was planning on going out to eat and it's like a, you know, a date thing, but since you're kind of not really into the date thing, let's go to the Spice Festival. What do you think? Yeah. Alright. This is not going as planned. I mean, he was perceptive to the first flirt. I think it's just that it was uncomfortable there because of the rain and the everything. So once they get like some food in their bellies and you know, maybe he'll be up to flirting again. I'm kind of really interested in seeing what his disguise looks like. And I love that he's not in the traditional alien outfit. He's in the, the space commander outfit. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, that might be... I don't know if that's CC or not. I, don't, I didn't think it was, but it could be. Who knows? It's happy hour at the karaoke bar. That means this is going to end soon. So let's head over here. Let's attempt the spice challenge together. Why not? Oh look, mom came along. <laughs> all right, so oh goodness, collect all these, harvest all, and then we can um, throw love day confetti. Harvest cow plant berry, sure. Harvest everything. Eliana Fairchild has failed the, the spicy curry challenge. Try eating more spicy foods like curry, samosas, and bell curry to build your Sims spice tolerance. The higher your spice tolerance, the better chance you have at winning the spice challenge. Now she's just gonna stand there going, uh, uh. Oh, Shona Mola! <laughs> Do some gossip. Don't tell a joke about aliens. We're gonna just throw a little flirt in there. 
Oh, I know what we can do. Trinjala we still have the sicker. Oh, we're not at the love fest. We're at the spice fest. I got confused because it's love day. Oh, wait. We gotta see if he takes that flirt. Alright, get ready. Here it comes. Yeah, I think he likes that flirt. But when she confessed attraction, he didn't like it. Let's throw another flirt in there. So this one time, the police were chasing me, and I didn't know what to do. It was crazy. So I got a dollhouse, and I gave it to the cop, and the dollhouse flew up. <laughs> and he's just like, uh, okay. Chabe. <laughs> So he takes the little flirts, but he just doesn't like the bigger flirts. Okay, so he's showing his cell phone, so maybe he's saying let's exchange numbers. So let's do that. See if, he, see if he'll exchange numbers with her. I've never seen this fail, so if it fails... Oh good, he, it didn't fail. So I would like to see it fail at some point just to see what they do. We'll do a pickup line. So they got some romance now, so that's Honka cool. Dory. And then can you ask on a date? Uh -huh. So I'm looking for a husband and I need to have lots of babies with him. How do you feel about that? Oh, that sounds pretty interesting. I'd like that. Oh, he did say yes to the date. Cool. So now we can go over to that restaurant I just placed in Brindleton Bay. I don't know if it'll work or not because Dine Out is notoriously glitchy, but we're gonna try it. Hopefully he doesn't leave before then because he has been with us all day and he has not filled any of his needs. Oh, oh I did put those dreads in. Okay, so uh -huh. going to the bar is a bathing suit. That's cool. Let's request yeah. this table. I don't really want her in a bathing suit. Wow, I love his formal. <laughs> He's got high heels on. I wonder, is this somebody, like, somebody created and I downloaded or something? Or is this, like, a, I don't know. This is so weird. Like, it's just, like, the perfect outfit for an alien. So let's order for the table. Wow, he is super flirty. Look at him all glowing pink. I love aliens. They're so cool. She's really flirty, too. We'll have some wine. We're not going to have like the really expensive stuff. And then we'll have... Wow, this is... we'll have Caesar salads. Hopefully... I don't think he's a vegetarian. Um, and then... Ooh, rack of lamb looks... You know what? Do we have enough for tortellini? No, no. We'll just have some urban crusts. We don't want to like spend too much money. And then for dessert, we'll get cannolis. I don't know why the bill total is $50. It just keeps going down and down and down. But that's cool. What oh, else? Hopefully we actually get our food. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and um, do a... I hesitate to do Confess and Traction now, but he is flirting, so... Um, what is everybody congregating around our table for? Compliment his appearance because he does look really like fine in that jacket. All right, so let's have another deep conversation. All right, so we got all the deep conversations out of the way, and we need to socialize about the meal. But where are you going? How about you sit back down, ask a risque question, couple <laughs> Oh, he did not like the risque question. Not That's the fine. <laughs> ah, okay, back it up, back it up. Oh, Mac and Too nerd. much, too much. Okay, go back to friendly, go back to friendly. Flish? They actually got their food. Uh, you can go away now, waitress. You have to stand here while we talk about this. this Alright, so we'll just keep doing some, some friendly stuff. Russia? Enthuse about the meal. Aragaba, and then go ahead yes. and throw a little flirt in there. Just one little Lobo flirt. Can right, oh, we'll go back to friendly. Back Rocky to friendly. Bosa. Deep conversation. Have to take it really slow with this guy. 
Alright, discuss the food flavors. Um, excellent. Alright, so now we can- Oh, I just did flirt with your date. Excellent. Kiss your date passionately. Oh, I don't know if we're ready for this. I don't think we are. Where does this date end? Because... We need to go home. Legendary date. Excellent. Alright. Alright, so she had a pretty good luck day. You're the only people left in the restaurant. Okay, hit the bathroom. And you're still hungry because you didn't eat any food. You were so busy talking. I don't even think they got food. They ended up just getting the cannolis. And then come up and just eat his food. Because he's not eating it either. Alright, so go ahead and eat his cannoli. If you can, where are you? What are you doing? You're taking eight years to wash those hands. You're only supposed to do it for 30 seconds. You gotta do the alphabet song. No, happy... Was it happy birthday or the alphabet? Are you gonna pass out? Well, how about you go eat his cannolis first? Yeah. It was such a good date. I just go up and steal his food. I'm just like, yep. My food now. I can't believe he stayed here, because usually after the date, they just go. Oh, don't ask risque questions. He doesn't like risque questions. See, I knew it. I knew it. Abort. Abort. Okay, just do some more friendlies and then have him. Uh, I should ask him to do it. See, he's flirting with her. And then she's not wanting- I think they just need to go home. Just go home. This is- you're ruining everything. Stop talking to each other. Stop talking to each other. You're ruining everything. Just get on your broomstick and fly home. Let's see what that achievement was. Play The Sims for five hours. <laughs> That's funny. Is she napping or sleeping? Yeah, she does that all the time. Okay, so I am going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed our love day episode. As you can tell, Miss Aliana loved it. She had a great time. And she had a lot of fun with her alien, but he's very, very temperamental. Or not temperamental, but he's very, like, um, certain things he doesn't like. So I'm going to go ahead and do a screen cap of that. But yeah, he just doesn't like flirting, apparently. I would think he's unflirty, but we learned all of his traits, so he's not unflirty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please leave, leave a like, a thumbs up. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I hope you have a great evening, and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys!